What have you found? Well, uh, as you just said, uh, the Trump administration has made some very bold claims about cutting regulations. We decided to take a very close look at that. Um, and it turns out, you know, the, aid, the administration has cut maybe a couple of dozen existing regulations, but they've said that they've cut almost a thousand. And what that actually is, is pending uh, regulations. And interestingly, when you look more closely at that list, it turns out it's 860 pending regulations. What you find is hundreds of them really don't uh, add up to a, a, a cut per se. There were uh, almost 200 that had uh, actually been killed or were at least inactive during the Obama administration. Um, you know, there are others uh, that appear to be paperwork glitches. Uh, and in some cases, the agencies that are developing these said, uh, you know, even though they were reclassified recently, that they're continuing to work on them and plan to issue them shortly. Well, if they haven't killed them outright, Adam, have they slowed a lot down? <laughs> Well, so there's no doubt that the Trump administration is attacking new regulations with a fervor we've never seen. Um, the, in the first uh, nine or 10 months of the Obama administration, they uh, uh, you know, took a very close look and signed off on over 200 regulations. That uh, number under Trump is uh, less than a quarter, of only about 52 or so uh, in our look. So they are definitely slowing down. So why hasn't the Trump administration been able to do more? You know, the, uh, the, the regulatory world is a Byzantine, very carefully regulated area. Uh, it takes uh, up to uh, you know a year, sometimes three, four, five years to get a regulation in place. That's designed so that the government moves slowly and carefully. Uh, but what that means is uh, the Trump administration has a whole laundry list of things they'd like to get done, but which they can't do immediately.